Hello, my name is Kalis, and today I'm going to be talking about some Hawaiian slang or pigeon words and phrases that I've heard while working in Hawaii. Before I get started, I'd like to make a disclaimer. Although I grew up in Hawaii for, and I've lived here for most of my life, I'm not claiming to be an expert on pigeon. Um, this video and my translations are based on my personal knowledge, um, information from online dictionaries, and posts on pigeon. If you're interested in learning more, I encourage you to take a look at the online resources linked below or do a quick Google search on your own. First things first, what is pidgin? Pidgin is the unofficial language of Hawaii. It's a combination of languages including Japanese, Hawaiian, English, um, Filipino, Portuguese that developed in the islands so plantation workers could communicate with each other and their supervisors despite having no common language. Despite this dark history and the fact that plantation work, notably sugarcane, dropped off in the 1980s and 1990s, pigeon remains a staple of life in Hawaii today. I moved back to Hawaii earlier this year, and ever since then, I've heard quite a bit of pigeon being used in the workplace. Here are 10 pigeon words and phrases that I've heard. Akamai means smart. In the workplace, you may hear something like, try to ask Kelly how to fix the computer, she's akamai. Arigats, um, arigato, domogats, domo are all variations of the Japanese words domo and arigato, meaning um, thanks a lot and thank you. Aloha is one of those words that can mean many things. You might describe someone as being full of aloha, or use it to say hello, goodbye, or thank you. In the workplace, I've noticed that instead of saying hello to clients or customers, people will use alo well, locals may use aloha instead. For example, an email may start with aloha leila rather than hello leila. Mahalo and mahalo nui loa mean thank you and thank you very much. Just as with aloha, instead of saying um, thank you to clients or customers, mahalo or mahalo nui loa may be used instead. Um, in the workplace, I again tend to see this more with emails. So at the end of emails, instead of saying something like thank you, best, or cheers, um, some locals may use mahalo instead. Humbug is used to describe something that's a bother or a nuisance. For example, someone in the office might say, um, or might ask you to remove all of the staples and some kind of binder and say, I know this is kind of humbug, but can you remove all the staples in this binder? Coconut wireless basically means word of mouth. Short story about this phrase. Um, so in my office, I, one of my coworkers, I went to high school with her son, same graduating class and everything. And so I heard that her son was getting married. So of course, when I went to, to work um, the next day, I congratulated her. Um, and so in this context, one person could say, I heard through the coconut wireless that David is getting married. Congrats. Paul means done. Um, another quick story about this. So at the end of almost every workday, one of my co-workers will say Paul Hanna, which means that work is done. And when she's preparing to leave the office for the day. You may also hear about Paul Hanna parties on the radio um, or in the workplace. This refers to after work parties complete with food, drinks, all of that kind of stuff. One way to tell if someone is from Hawaii, Guam, or one of those other places that are connected to the US but not that big chunk of land um, is if they refer to the continental United States as the mainland. This is a pretty common word that you'll hear throughout the islands, not just in the workplace. So for example, a client or a customer may say, I'm so sorry, um, can I reschedule this appointment? I'm flying out to the mainland and so I won't be able to make it. Puka means whole. Um, if you're working in the workplace um, or in an office environment, someone may say everything that goes into the binder needs pukas. So although puka does mean whole, it can also be used to act when someone's asking you the three hole punch of things you can put in the binder. Although bumbai means later or later on, it can also be used to say see you later. For example, when leaving the workplace for the day, a coworker may say bumbai as they go out the door. If you'd like a quick recap of the 
words and phrases that we covered today here are here's the list and that's it for the video thank you so much for watching let me know if you'd like me to do more content on pigeon or if you have any ideas on videos that you'd like to see bye, -bye.